Even if you don't meet the eye of a hurricane, tropical storm force winds are nothing to mess around with. This is what Clearwater Beach felt during Hurricane Irma. Sustained winds from 39 to 73 miles per hour, gusts over 100. You want to be careful of flying debris and downed power lines. At 74 miles per hour, you're dealing with a Category 1, like most of Tampa Bay did during Hurricane Irma. Well-constructed homes could see damages to roof and vinyl siding. Extensive tree damages posed an additional risk to you, your home, and your car. Your screen exposure could come tumbling down, and the power grid should see major disruptions. Storm surge is also possible, turning streets into rivers. At 96 miles per hour, you've got a Cat 2 like Hurricane Francis, which hit near West Palm Beach. When the wind gets this intense, cosmetic damage is the least of your worries. Falling trees and flying debris become the deadliest threats to both you and your home. Tree branches become projectiles. If a window or a door gets blown out of an older home, the winds can rush inside and blow the roof right off. You can also expect significant storm surge in some places, enough to put some of Florida's coastal cities underwater. At 111 miles per hour, you've got a major Category 3 hurricane, like when Katrina hit New Orleans. Mobile homes don't stand a chance, and older homes without a roof could collapse in upon themselves. Even newer construction is now at risk, especially siding, doors, and roofs. 130 miles per hour marks a Category 4 storm, like Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico or Charlie in southwest Florida. Blown open doors and smashed windows can lead to even new homes failing. Power poles will be uprooted, snapped, or down. And even if your home survives the wind, deadly storm surge can leave it uninhabitable. Not only will there be no water or power, but you may not have access to the area for a while. And if a storm produces sustained winds of 157 miles per hour, it becomes a Category 5, like Hurricane Andrew in 1992. Catastrophic damage is guaranteed, with total destruction in some places. The area will likely be uninhabitable for months. The good news is the eye of a hurricane packing these most powerful winds is usually localized. But the bad news is in a major hurricane, even if you dodge the eye, damaging winds can extend hundreds of miles in all directions.